Kai Fu Lee describes what's about to happen to this country's labor market thanks to the growth of artificial intelligence. Watch this. AI will increasingly replace repetitive jobs, not just for blue collar work, but a lot of white collar work. A lot of things will become automated. We'll have automated stores, uh, automated restaurants, and uh, all together in 15 years, that's going to uh, displace uh, about 40% of jobs in the world. 40% of the world's jobs, approaching half. As Lee warns in the segment, all jobs are at risk, high-end attorneys, for example, but it's the remaining low-skilled jobs that are most likely to disappear. Professional driving, for example, taxis, trucks, delivery vehicles. Five million Americans now do that for a living and support their families on those wages. Self-driving cars could put them all out of work very soon. And not just them. Store clerks, waiters, cooks, they're in imminent danger too. Just about any repetitive job is at risk of going away. Automation is accelerating. This is real. It's going to have a nearly unimaginable effect on what Americans do for a living and on American society itself. Our country's low skilled workers already live in a pretty precarious spot. Their wages and their benefits have stagnated for decades. In fact, millions of them aren't really workers at all, but instead get by on disability payments or other government programs. Some don't even survive. They're overdosing and committing suicide at steadily higher rates, as you know. But in the next few years, if anything, things will get even worse. Some of the last remaining options for these workers are going to vanish, and there's nothing obviously waiting to replace those jobs. This is happening. So what is Washington doing about it? Well, nothing, but not just nothing. Worse than that, our policymakers are exacerbating the problem, making it far more painful and harder to solve.